Hey DIYers! Was that too hey? I'm laughing. <laughs> hey! 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 hey. hey. Okay. <laughs> hey DIYers, I'm Alicia. And I'm Allie from Whimsy Box. Welcome to DIY 5, where we count down five of our favorite DIY projects from the week, tell you what's been going on around the office here, and share some other silly stuff. Let's go. Awesome. Uh, where are we? So Camilla from the blog Family Chic made these DIY ring captures uh, from Thrifted Dishes and Mod Podge Sheer Colors. Oh yeah, that's a new product. Yes, new product. So the colored Mod Podge dries to create an enamel look. Uh, so you can add your own artistic touch and a pop of color to some dated dishes. So they're perfect for keeping your rings safe while you're digging in the garden or on dish duty. Awesome. So speaking of the garden, it is time to get your herb garden going. I have planted mint and basil so far in pots. And Mrs. Monday has a project to help you keep track of what's what. So these white garden markers are made from polymer clay and some letter stamps. Mm -hmm. And um, Mrs. Monday is Norwegian, so the spellings on this project aren't what we're used to in the U.S., but I actually think they look really cool. So I'm thinking of uh, spelling mint, M-Y-N-T-E on my oh, little yeah. stand too, because I think yeah. that would be fun. It's fun. Cool. So we've said it before, and I'm about to say it again. Pineapples are all the rage. Oh my god, since we've talked about it, it's all I see anywhere. Pineapples everywhere. So tell love and chocolate. Uh, gave us a fun way to display succulents or herbs. Um, they took mason jars and covered them in bright yellow triangles to create like the fruit of the pineapple. And then the herb or succulent, aloe would be like a really good one. Creates the oh, greenery. Oh, right on the top? On top, yeah. So they're cute and clever and a fun way to add some pineapple to your decor. Very cute. Uh, Nails House posted the simple black and white art piece, but you'll never guess what it was made from. It's actually a Marameco shopping bag. Oh. And I am such a hoarder of pretty bags and papers and scraps and yes. ephemera like that. Um, but usually they just wind up getting stashed like in the top of my closet. Which I just thought of something funny to talk about. Okay. I'll remind me to tell you what I found in the top Done. of my closet this weekend. Okay. Anyway, they wind up getting stashed in the top of my closet. And instead of doing that and letting it collect dust and eventually get ruined, which is right. what usually happens when it makes its way to the bottom of the pile. Um, she recommends just putting them in a nice frame. Yeah. So she's done this with gift wrap as well, and I love the black and white statement. And side note, did you know that Marameco has a collaboration with Banana Republic going on right now? Well, they're celebrating a big anniversary, Marameco is. Oh, really? Yeah, I heard it on NPR. But no, I didn't know about the Banana Republic. Yes, there's so. lots of cute graphic printed pieces, so check cool. them out if you like. Nice. Um, well, this ribbon-wrapped chain necklace from I Spy DIY, it's a fun accessory for summer. You got some chunky chain and some bits of colorful ribbon, and they're woven together to create a statement necklace, and it's sure to amp up any outfit we have this summer. Very cool. Okay, so that's five DIYs, but for DIY number six, I wanted to show off something I made yesterday, which is this really cute tote bag. Yeah, and it's, um, I'm not sure how well it'll come out on camera, but we can put in a decent shot. And the reason is because it's gold leaf. So depending on how the light reflects, it makes it sort of hard to see. But I promise in real life, it's actually quite easy to see. Yeah, it's and read. gorgeous. And it says, it's DIY time, baby. Um, <laughs> and so I'm newly obsessed with the idea of putting gold leaf on fabric. So it might not be great for like a t-shirt that you're gonna wash and wear all the time, but on tote bag, it works totally awesome. Yeah. And you can find the full step-by-step -step on the site, along with all of these other projects that we talked about, and tons and tons more. Yeah. The gold is gorgeous, and it's not like, it's so much richer than a gold paint. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's you like kind of have to see it in person metallic. to really appreciate it, but it's super metallic. I cut the stencil out using our new Cricut Explore mm -hmm. um, tool, and it actually makes such a quick and easy project. I kind of want to start knocking out a bunch. Super good bridesmaids gift. Nice. I note to self. Cool. Well, let's talk about this week's featured influencer, who is Ashley uh, from the blog She Makes a Home. Ashley has a handmade paper goods business where she creates beautiful cut paper stationery. So she calls herself an indie business owner. She went from hobbyist to entrepreneur. Hey, me too, Ashley. Yeah, and she's a uh, work from home mom. She's taking care of business while taking care of her daughters. 
So She Makes a Home is full of clever ideas for home decor and simple updates to transform your house into a beautiful home. So thank you very much, Ashley. Awesome. Well, it is time for the May Whimsy Box reveal. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, first of all, the project. Yay. Paper flower making. Um, this is a whole bunch, all of these lovingly made by Elisa. There's tons of different flower designs, different kinds of paper and yeah, technique. And she also made this alternate project idea, which is a paper flower crown. And it is, super, is, oh, it's holy totally nice. It too. is gorgeous. Like really, really pretty and so well done. Like you can tell some time went into this. But, but it's never gonna wilt or right. anything. It's it's so pretty. So nice. And the cool thing about these flowers, or my favorite thing about the flowers, is and you can show the stamen portion of it, yeah. but the the middles of the flowers are really intricate and pretty and it just kind of makes everything pop. So So we sent out two different color palettes. Actually, our pro members, anybody with a three month or longer subscription, right. could choose from Peachy Keen, which is the sort of lighter, brighter, or Rich Romance, which is the deeper, sort of more dramatic color palette. There's a mix in this yeah. uh, vase here. But this would be the Rich Romance? So pretty. This is that the rich, one's romance. rich Romance. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, we would be remiss if we did not mention the awesome art. This is called Sparkling Watercolor, and it's by Ashley Gardner. Um, she's from Texas, which is where we used to be from. And she specializes in printable designs that are modern, affordable, and beautiful, which I love. You can check out her shop, printablewisdom.etsy.com. Nice. Very pretty. And then all of the instructions to yeah. make your flowers. We have a bunch more online. Every month we include an inventory card so you know you have a list of what you can find inside and a little photograph so you know what you're getting. We have crepe paper and tissue paper and nice. a mix. Yep. There is the achievement button, of course. You've earned DIY earned credit. It. Save it. Um, tacky glue, that craft staple. Floral tape, which you have to tug on to activate the glue. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Um, these are the cute little stamens that go inside of the flowers. And they really do, like, they add such a so neat pretty. detail, yeah. Uh, some gold handled scissors. That's an awesome thing to get in there. These are cool scissors. I really like them. And we wanted you to have the right size of scissors to cut out the tissue in the precise way. And you actually use the edge of the scissors to curl the tips of the petals. Oh, yeah. So it's important to have a decent, you don't want to be using the kitchen shears you like cut chicken with. That would not do the job. Floral wire. And finally, our friends at Zyron provided these fabulous glue sticks as well. Um, so this box was totally action packed. Oh, and then I forgot, of course, in the bottom. Ruh -ruh. What do you got hidden in there? I forgot that in the bottom is the templates. Oh yes, very important. So that you know how to cut out all the pieces. We don't just tell you, you can actually trace and cut them out. Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff, but that's what's inside the May Whimsy Box. If you did not get one, we have them in the shop. So go snag your paper flower making kit. You will not regret it. This box, I don't know exactly how many flowers you can make out of it, but it is a lot. a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's so pretty. What a fun, what a fun just summertime centerpiece. Yeah, super fun. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. And we've already seen some really cool uh, pictures on Instagram. Yes. Oh, yeah. So if you're making your flowers, um, tag us, hashtag WhimsyBox, or share on our Facebook, or mm -hmm. wherever, we're everywhere. We want to see them. Yes. Okay, now do you want to know what I found on the top shelf of my closet? I'm dying to know. <laughs> I just thought about this. Um, it goes along with this month's color uh, theme, which is purple. Okay. So, going back a quadrillion years, um, my sister and I are close in age, we're 18 months apart, and we had a cousin that's also close in age, and sometimes she would give us hand-me-down clothes. Um, and usually that was great, and we would totally wear them, but for some reason, one time, when we were 8, 9, 10, I don't know, she gave us this purple turtleneck that we both hated. Um, and so we would just throw it in each other's rooms because we were like, no, I'm never wearing it. And so I would chuck it in her room and she would chuck it in my room. And anyway, fast forward 20 mirror mirror years, we're still doing it. Oh my God. So every time I visit her, I've actually sent it. She's a Whimsy Box subscriber. Thanks, Ned. <laughs> um, I have actually sent it to her packed in a Whimsy Box before to nice. trick her. 
Uh, she came to visit me a few months ago, and I knew that stupid turtleneck must be around my house somewhere, but it wasn't until this past weekend I found it on the top shelf of my closet, and it was actually in plain sight. It was just that there was like so much stuff crammed up in my closet that I didn't even notice she that it was there. That's funny. So we've been passing back and forth this really stupid turtleneck for a long time. That's what I found on top of my closet. So what I did, I still have it. I have to somehow sneakily give it to her. Um, but I put Radish the dog in it. <laughs> I bet she loved that. She did not like it at all, but it was really funny. She just laid there on the floor. I'll share some of the pictures so you guys can see. She just laid there like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, like, <laughs> seriously, lady. First, I was just gonna take a picture of her like just chewing on it or something. But then I was like, no. let's put it on. <laughs> Poor That's thing, funny. it's a golden retriever in the summer already. And right, then, it's hot out. And then your dumb owner sticks a turtleneck on you. It was really only for a few minutes, but Aww. that's the story of the purple turtleneck. Our friends have a chip and dip that has been circulating what? for a few years. Out of you know, like chip and dip, like it's the big bowl that you put the chips in and then there's like a smaller oh, bowl yeah, yeah, to yeah. put the dip in. Well, we had a game night or something and that was like the prize, which <laughs> nobody wanted. So yeah, it keeps getting, it keeps winding up at our house. And then if it's somebody's birthday, guess what? It's the chip and dip. <laughs> re-gifted. Yeah. So the ultimate in re-gifting over and over and it's over. It's a fun, silly tradition. I mean, sometimes yeah. it'll be like a year before it goes back and forth. We don't see each other as often anymore since we live in different states, but other times it's like pretty quick. It's fun to think of like a creative way. My favorite was once I stashed it in the middle of like her sleeping bag roll. And so it wasn't like till months later she went sleeping, or sorry, sleeping, she went sleeping with her friends. No, sorry, she went camping with her friends. Those are different things. And she like unrolled her sleeping bag in the tent and like out flew this like ugly purple turtleneck. And her friends were like, um, nice. Yeah. So that's the story of the purple turtleneck. Or things you find in your closet. Yes, things you find in your closet. You gotta clean it out every once in a while. <laughs> that's all right. All right, that's it for this week. Yeah, we'll hope see you, you back guys here. like your whimsy boxes. Yes, month. enjoy. See you next week. I can see some like boho chick. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely got the festival thing.